Okay, got a no cooling call here. Pretty nice house. Two units not working. Okay, the truck's a long way from the units and it started raining. So I went and got my totally cool magnetic Supco umbrella. If you don't have one of these, I definitely recommend it. Now, both indoor air handlers came on and they are blowing and working in the house and sending signal out here to tell these units to run. Unfortunately, this one, Tempstar, giving us fan only. Uh, the homeowner helped me determine what was where for a little bit. And, uh, which is actually very helpful in a house this size where we don't have to look for anything. And as you can see, even in the rain, we can uh, get in here and open this panel and see what's going on. Like I said, it's running fan only. And I could hear the compressor trying every few minutes. So let's hope we get lucky and it just needs a cap. Wires look okay. He didn't leave us much room for servicing. We installed these. Quite tight. So this thing is not 100% keeping me dry, but that overhang, you know, it can drop quite a bit on you. So I'm glad to have that out of the way. Still getting a little drop or two on my back, but we'll live with that. I am hoping, although it's not puffed up, 35 by 5, I'm hoping the 35 side of it is dead. Let's see what we can find out here. Now this one has four terminals on all of them so actually that got me mixed up all right so this is common there's hermetic near stand okay so let's go from common to hermetic 3450 not good Four eighty seven, so that tells us this cap is actually good. Let's go ahead and look again. Common to hermetic. Oops. Common to hermetic. 34.50 that is certainly within range for a 35 and it is not starting so there's no way it could be hot because it was off for the entire day I just turned it on when I got here so that's not good news for this one
Hermetic. There's the Supco, totally cool. Not quite totally dry, but it helps a lot. I don't think I could stand to look at it otherwise. So let's make sure that's actually... No. Nope. So we're fooling with a different unit there. And they're not marked as for what's upstairs and what's downstairs, etc. They're just one, two, three, four. Somewhere there's a five and six. There was. Maybe they have zoning and they don't know it. Well, she has six thermostats anyway. Okay, we are bypassing. Uh, hot as fire. Get lucky and find a bad cat here. Not in case. It may or may not be the case, but we have gotten the condensing coil and the compressor hot as a firecracker. not puffed up but it sure looks old and tired like me
55 by 5. Let's see what it's reading. Alright, this one's so crusty. And I don't know if I'm going to have to do a little scraping. But the fan... definitely gone the compressor side should be good because it was running hmm see if I can scrape them I scraped them and it still wasn't I mean this thing is dead I don't see how that compressor was running Let's go get a 55 by five and see if both components start up. This thing is hot right now. I wouldn't be surprised if it, when we shut it down, it hit the thermal. But let's go grab one and see if that'll get us out of this. Waterproof shoes and baggies on the socks, not my first rodeo. Wonder who knows where that quote came from. It was in a movie. And uh it's something really nerdy turdy that the guy said. Um something happened and give you a hint it was in the mall <laughs> and somehow some liquid got spilled splashed all over the floor and he said waterproof shoes and baggage on the socks not my first rodeo can't really say that's one of my favorite quotes but there again it was a quote. And I just try to think of whatever I can out here that might be semi-humorous that lightens the load on what I'm doing at the time. Old crusty one back in the box. So I'm really hoping this fixes this one. Contactor looks a little rough. Definitely need to uh, do a full service on these things, wash them out, clean them out. That contactor looks worse than any of the other ones I saw test all these caps whether they need it or not you know whether they're running or not doesn't matter check them all and keep it up up to snuff as they say so there's just no good way to plug in a disconnect in the rain at least not got it pouring back down but this thing is soaking wet I'm not usually a chicken, but huh. this is just not what I suggest anybody does. And anybody working for me, standing in this water, go turn the disconnect, you know, go turn the breaker to this disconnect off first and then plug it in. I dried it off and I don't know, hopefully I can yank myself away from it if I get hit. No fan. And pretty 
sure the stick ain't going to start it. Well, that stinks. All right, let's get a motor for it. All right, we're back. And the customer has decided they would like to have an OEM fan motor. Cost a little bit more that way, but uh, technically it is a little bit better that way. So let's get this thing apart. Okay, this is not gonna be too bad. We don't have a lot of rusted shaft sticking through. I think we'll get that off relatively easy without a fight. So I have unplugged the three wires that go to the fan. And we are going to pull those out. We're going to take the piece of flexible conduit that is reverse threaded. These things here, for whatever reason, they're always reverse threaded, so they always come out backwards than what your habit would be. All right. So, let's see how, how lucky we're gonna get with this blade. We may need to spray it a bit and tap on it a bit. Like I said, that one don't look too bad. Let's just let that sit for a minute. Well, that was lucky. I went to grab it. I was gonna pick it up and tap on it and it just pulled right off. Looks awful dirty for that to have happened, but like we saw, there was barely anything sticking above. And I'll tell you what, that, that jack of all sprays, it really does a good job at penetrating. Um, I'm just going to wipe a rag through that thing and put the new one on. So, let's get the new motor mounted right quick. Okay. OEM plug and play. What is this? Do not eat. Oh, man. I was really wanting to eat that. Gosh. All right, good thing about the OEM, plug and play, the original acorn style nuts fit it. So I just sit it down there, upside down. And then I just raise it up and reach under and just thread them on by hand. or at least two of them across from each other. And now we know the motor's gonna, gonna stay there. So let's get the, get the conduit back on it.
Now what I try to do is put the spade connectors, you know, stake ons apart from each other like that where they go through and come out really easy and then as we mentioned before it's reverse threaded so we turn it to the left tight down in there okay so let's stick the blade on it and get it flipped over Crank her down pretty good. And there we are. All right. And as I was saying, the OEM motors sure are nice. You don't have to cut anything off. You don't have to wire up any universal, you know, reversible uh plugs or wires which I always cut them off and shorten them but let's see let's get those tightened up but right back like it was the original acorn nuts conduit the wires through we're just about done okay let's see here now, I think we can thread through this same piece to begin with. But you definitely want to keep these wires tight as far as coming out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and hook them up. And the yellow one on the bottom side of this contactor. On the yellow side, that's going to be your common. And the run is up here on the switched side of the contactor on the top. And of course the brown goes on the capacitor. The fan so like I said the important thing is to keep these wires pulled tight out of the cabinet so I'm gonna tighten that stake on as well as fold these wires down and put another zip tie here that basically keeps them tight from going back in there as well as cleans it up just a little bit. And I'll tell you what, they make these zip ties cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and more brittle. So anytime I've got room for it, I always use two of them. Okay. So let's cut that off. Double check all our wiring. Should be good and the contactor is in so they are asking for cooling in the house right now all right everything's tight everything's double checked doors back on so when we put this was the old capacitor from the other day when we were 
out here in the rain. When we put this disconnect back in, we should fire back up. And I noticed when I was uh, putting the old motor back in the box here to throw it away, that I always pick these up by the wires. I don't do it to a new motor, but that's a habit of the old motors. Just grab it by the wires and they pulled right out. And I mean, they're definitely burned up. So that motor is bye-bye. So let's see here. that rattle or that buzz Let's see if we can get rid of it and we might should have cleaned the leaves out of this thing you reckon Getting old where I don't want to bend over anymore, I guess. Have to develop some cool way to get the leaves out of these things. Those little small shop vacs that I use on the uh, drain lines for flushing those is not really beefy enough to, to reach down and vacuum leaves out. All right. We got another machine over there on the other side that we saw when we were here in the rain that would not start. The compressor is giving the death buzz every couple of minutes. Tried a new capacitor, still wouldn't start. Definitely not dead shorted, but uh, yeah, she was having a hard time getting going. This one is putting good warm air out pretty quickly. So I'm not going to do anything further to this right now. We're going to come out here about April 1st, flush all of these drains, um, service all five of these condensers, get the leaves out, probably wash them, clean them, wipe them off, make them look good, make them run good, test all the refrigerant levels, and uh, actually flush all the drains, as I said check everything we've already got an authorization for that so let's keep going today with what we need to do i'll probably bring a helper the day i come service these five i doubt we'll get a video on it but it's possible let's go check the other one <laughs> 